Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about the different type of stirrups used in a reinforced concrete beam. What they look like, why they are important, and where each type is used. Let's get started. What are stirrups? In reinforced concrete beams, stirrups are the closed loops of steel, of steel bars that surround the main longitudinal reinforcement bars. Their main job is to hold the main bars in their correct position and resist shear force that act diagonally across the beam. Without the stirrups, the beam could fail suddenly under shear stress or bending. So even so, they look simple. Stirrups are extremely important for the strength and safety of the structure. Single legged stirrup. The first one is the single legged stirrup. Is this just one vertical leg shaped like the letter U? This type is used in small beams or slabs where the load under shear force are relatively low. They are quick and easy to make but not suitable for heavy structures. Used in small beams, lentils or precast components. Not suitable for large or heavily loaded beams. Two legged strips. Two legged strips. Next is the two-legged strips, which is the most common type used in construction. It forms a closed rectangular or square loop, ties around both the top and bottom parts of the beam. This type provides excellent shear resistance and keeps the parts properly elegant during concreting. Used in standard reinforced concrete beams and column, not suitable for or limit, may need extra legs in very wide beams. Four legged straps and more. When the beam is wide or heavily loaded, Two legs aren't enough, so we use four legged or multi legged stirrups. This cover more area and provide extra support, especially for deep beams or wide flank girders. Used for large beams, T beams, bell caps, and heavy industrial structures. Limit more complex. To fabricate and place. Type of hooks and stirrups. Each stirrup has hooks at the end. They help lock the stirrup sec securely into the concrete, preventing it from slipping out. There are three common types of hooks used depending on the design code and bending requirement. 190 hook. This is fully pent hook with the bar bend spec on itself making a complete semi-circle. It gives maximum anchorage and is mostly used in a semi in a uh, used in a semi in a cis sorry give maximum anchorage and is mostly used in a seismic snows in a seismic zones or structural needing extra safety 135 hook
This type is commonly used as per 4056 Indian standard. It offers a good balance between anchorage and ease of bending. It's also preferred in areas subjected to cyclic or dynamic loading. 90 hook. Here the bar is bent at right angle. It is the simplest type but provides the least anchorage so it's used where shear stress is low. In short, 180 hook, strongest hold, 135 hook, standard type, 90 hook for light structures. Open loop and closed loop. An open loop stirrup has a small gap. It is not fully closed. It's easy to install and adjust around parts, but it's less effective against high shear forces. You will see this mostly in lightweight beams or slabs. Closed loop. A closed loop stirrup is completely sealed. It forms a perfect rectangular or square around the bar. It provides the best confinement and maximum shear resistance. Closed loops are mandatory in column, heavy beams and seismic zones where extra confinement is essential. In short, open loop, light duty, closed loop, heavy duty and saver. Let's see quick summarize all type. Single legged for small beams or light loads. Two legged most common type for standard beams. Four legged for heavy and wide beams. 180 hook. 135 hook, 90 hook, decide anchorage strength, loops open for light work, closed for string confinement. Stirrups may look small, but they are the silent heroes of reinforced concrete, holding everything together and preventing catastrophic failures. It's that's all about the type of stirrups used in concrete beam. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more civil engineering topics made simple. See you in the next video.